So as a scientist, I've always been interested in the tiny differences between individuals, those little differences to our genes and our proteins that make us who we are. And when I came to join AstraZeneca, I was fascinated by the idea that we could use those small differences and our scientific knowledge to tailor the best drug for the best patient. So when we select patients, the right patients for the right drug, then the outcomes from clinical trials get better. We're able to see whether clinical trial, whether our drugs are more efficacious and safe. And that makes for a better clinical outcome. And then that makes good business sense. So it's really a win-win situation all round. So for the patient, I think it's a lot about um, them getting a more predictable outcome from the drugs. So rather than them just having to come to the doctor and not knowing whether that treatment will work for them, they will get more of a prediction about whether the drug will work. They don't have to come back time and time again. They try one drug, then they try the next drug, and then maybe they have another drug that could be efficacious, but they have side effects but they can tell ideally the first time that that drug will work for them. So even before the clinical trial starts, we will be doing research to identify the best biomarker for that particular drug. And then when we start doing clinical trials in the patient population, then we will be able to use that biomarker to select the patients if we know what the biomarker is, we can use a diagnostic test at that stage to pick patients onto the clinical trial. If we don't know, then we can, can be carrying out the research during the clinical trial. When we've looked at those relationships, we've really believed that the best model is to be able to partner with whichever diagnostic company has the technology and other capabilities that are right for the particular drug. So we tend to work with strategic partnerships with diagnostics companies rather than investing in just one diagnostic company. I personally came from a background in genetics and immunology, looking at both the genes and the proteins that make people different. But different people come from different backgrounds. In my group, I have people who came from a physics background. Uh, I have a colleague very high up in a personalised healthcare organisation who was originally a nurse. So because this is a new and cutting edge area, I think people can take many different career paths. What's needed, of course, is an enthusiasm for the subject and then an ability to learn and to work within a group that is cutting edge in personalised healthcare. Oncology is probably the furthest ahead. Then I think outside of oncology, you have a progression in the technology used in neuroscience, imaging techniques. In infectious disease, there are developments now coming through in rapid diagnostic testing so that rather than waiting two or three days for the outcome of a culture test, patients will be able to put on to a more effective therapy straight away. We, we will be seeing personalised healthcare as a normal part of drug development and even a normal part of clinical practice so that every patient, when they go to see their doctor, already expect a number of tests, blood tests to be carried out and that these will include maybe more sophisticated tests so that they will be able to see and the doctor will be able to prescribe the drug that is most appropriate for them, maybe without the patient even being aware of it, but so be it their samples and their disease can be treated most appropriately.